Hi everyone, this is Dataface. This is a little tutorial video for my synth I made, for the function and for the installation. So if you cannot already tell, my um, first language isn't English. So bear with me if I mispronounce stuff and sound weird sometimes. I'll try my best to be as clear as possible. If there is some part that is unclear, just tell me in the comments and I'll try my best to answer your questions. So first off, let's look on how the synth works and how it sounds. So the first step for sound to go through is just to turn up the volume here. So now you are hearing the first two waves with here the pitch. And the amplitude here. And here is the modulation amount, so no modulation, and a lot of modulation. It can be pretty fun to just play around and don't know really what you're doing. That's kind of how this synth is designed. I wouldn't recommend going in with the specific sound idea, just go with the flow and mess with the knobs. So here we are in free flow mode. If I open up the ADSR mode, you need to connect it with the MIDI keyboard. You just have to go to the media here and go to MIDI settings and then uh, connect your, here I have my actual key step connected. Now if I put some sustain and some release, and I press a key, just put it higher a bit. I can actually play the sound uh, with the ADSR. I've put here a pitch sync, which will sync all here the pitches of the waves to the one you play in the MIDI keyboard. So if I put all of these open up, You can start playing the synth. You also have here a little section for sign here, if you want to put some sine waves. You have also here a random modulation. What this will do is uh, actually each time you press a note, it will randomize all the modulation here. So it can be really cool for uh, IDM, IDM stuff. So here, what it sounds like. I'm pressing here the same note. some reverb here. So here we have the modulation matrix. Um, basically it's which oscillator modulate which oscillator. But to be frank, just cush and uncush random stuff and see how it sounds. That's how I, <laughs> I kind of designed it. So this is pretty much the features of the synth. Uh, I encourage you to just play stuff and then record it with... Uh, oh, uh, I have to explain this also. Uh, this you get, just gush it and it will start recording, create... It will create a file on your computer that's named Dataface FM Synth, if I remember correctly. Uncush it, the file will stop. Uh, the recording will stop. You can uh, do it multiple times and it will name them like 001, 002. But if you restart the synth, it will restart back to zero zero. So it can't overlap some files. So just keep that in mind when you're recording. This is pretty much it. Uh, feel free if you want to modify the synth, go uh, inside. It's a bit of a mess because I didn't 
think it uh, for a downloadable sin first. But yeah, if you want to go check out how everything is routed or change stuff, feel free to do it. And if you make some cool music with the synth, send me a, a video or just a, a clip. I don't know. I, I'm interested to see what you guys will do with uh, this little box here. Okay, now I'll show you how to install the synth on Windows, but I think it's the same processes for Mac users. I can't really be sure at 100%, but I'm pretty sure. So the first step to use the FM synth I made is pretty simple. You first gotta go to the Pure Data website and download the Pure Data software where I coded the synth. When you have downloaded Pure Data, just open the app. You'll be greeted with this window here. You first gotta go to the help window. Click on find externals. You only need to download two libraries, actually just one, and the other one is for the reverb, if you want to play with the reverb. So the first library is called Cyclone. Just type in Cyclone here, click on search, and you just click here on the first one, the latest version. The next one you need to download is called Freeverb. The synth will work without it, but you won't be able to use the little reverb thingy that I put in. So then when you have downloaded the external libraries, you just gotta go to the files, top down menu here, and go to preference. Path. You can click on new uh, to select the path where you downloaded all the external objects. Just be sure that the little DSP box here is on. The synth won't work. Actually, any audio won't work if it's not on. So if you've done all those steps, you can now go download the synth I made. In the video description, there will be a link and it should open up and work. If it doesn't, feel free to ask in the comments any question. I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you all for watching. I hope we'll, you will have a blast with the synth. Don't forget to send me the stuff that you made with it. Have a nice one.